The first female American soldier to flee to Canada in objection to the Iraq war where she served is considering her options after a deportation order was upheld by Canadian courts. I'm trying to take it one step at a time so that I don't have meltdowns like earlier. Um, but it is very difficult. At the United Steelworkers Hall in downtown Toronto today, supported by union members and a great deal of church supporters and peace movement supporters, Kimberly Rivera talked about how she had decided as a serving soldier in Iraq that she could not in all conscience continue to do her duty. I feel that I, in general, being a part of the, the machine, was involved in the deaths or, you know, and participated in the oppression of the people. I feel very I feel almost like, why did I have to have the experience to know exactly what was going on? Both Kimberly Rivera and her husband have been ordered deported, which will put great stress on the family, which has two children born in the United States who were here today and two children who were born in Canada. Well, the family has a couple of options. They can uh, request a judicial review of the decision that they received yesterday from the federal court. Uh, they could ask the federal court to stay the removal while that uh, judicial review is going on. Uh, another possible option is that they could ask that uh, their removal be stayed while their pending humanitarian and compassionate grounds application is decided. Yes, if, if, if Kim, if it comes to September 20th and Kim uh, hasn't received any relief from the order that she uh, returned to the United States, then Kim will fully comply with Canadian law in return. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Ian Robertson.